guys, uh, Christopher Amoruso here, and um, I got a lot of requests from uh, people asking me to put an instructional video up to show you the uh, parts of Runaway Train, which is an original piece that I have um, floating around on YouTube right now. Um, so I wanted to show this tune to you guys. I'm really flattered that people want to learn how to play it, and a couple of people want to play with the bands, and I'm, I would love to see how that turns out. So. Uh, this is my very first uh, cigar box guitar that I got. Bought it on eBay. Don't know who made it. I think it was somebody owned it and they were tired of playing it or didn't play it and they put it up on eBay for 115 bucks and I bought it. This is what turned me on to it after seeing Justin Johnson. Um, so basically this is an E. We're tuned in E. Um, so we have E. Low e. So with the Runaway Train, it's basically uh, eight separate parts. So I'll go through each part with you. I'll play them slow so you can kind of play along with me. And then just watch the video, the official music video, and you can kind of play along with that as well. So, uh, so part one, which is what I really think is the fun part, and um, this is the inspiration for this song. This kind of gave me that chugging sound. Uh, that's the... With this, I'm plucking this down here, right close to the bridge. This is what gives you the, uh, the twangy sound. Though. Big difference if you do it from there to here. That's what really drove me to doing this song. So basically it's the open E onto the G note and you're going to pull off on there. So it's... So basically the E, hit the G note and then just bend it. So I'm bending it this way. And when you put it together it's... Um, that's the first part. Basic, pretty basic, but that's what drives the tune and that's what kind of sets the pace for the entire uh, Runaway Train song. Okay, so next, second part, um, we're starting with the open E and we're going to go to the, uh, with the C sharp and the D on the, on the B string, which would be the second string, which is... So that's the second part. Um, pretty basic there. Just keeping the, the strumming going. So you're on the second string, and you're that's the B string, and then you're hitting C sharp to D. Along with the open E, the top open E string. So So that's the second part. So we have part number one, which is a, your plucking. I'll call that the tin pluck. And then you have the second part, which goes into the uh, the, the first driving uh, section of the song. Now we're going into our first lick of the song, which is uh, a little tricky. Um, and basically, with this lick, it's on the, it starts on the high E string, and we're going to the A, uh, the A, the G, and you're pulling it off. So let me do it slow, and I'll show you what I'm doing here. Um, keep in mind, I'm using my middle finger and my index finger. Um, I keep my slide on my ring finger. I don't know. People do it differently. Some people use a slide on their, on their pinky. Some people use it on the middle finger. I use it on my ring finger. So... Whatever works best for you, figure it out, but this is how it works for me. So, we're coming out of that part, we're going into the first lick. Um, so basically, it's keeping a rhythm. The strumming is keeping a rhythm. It's... So 
let me do these notes for you slow so you can just you kind of see what I'm doing here. <laughs> That's the first lick in the song that's kind of like a solo lick. It's a little tricky, but once you get it down, um, I used to mess it up all the time. I still mess it up when I, when I play it live. Uh, so we're coming out of this the first part, um, actually part number two, which is... Okay, so now we're coming to the fourth part, which is a slide. I'm sliding into the A chord. Um, on the fifth fret. So basically, uh, across all three strings. Uh, so let me play for you out of that lick. Back to the lick. Okay, so that's pretty basic. Um, if you're messing around with cigar box guitars, you're probably pretty good with the slide onto the chords. Um, so this is barring all three strings going up to the, which would be the A, across the A uh, chord. And then what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm sliding it back down to the G. So it's... So it's kind of got that bang in there. So you do that three times and then you go back to the lick. So. Then we're going back to the very beginning, which is the the tin pluck, which I call the tin pluck. That and here, when we go to the second part again, which is the... I'm adding a little slide down from the G, which would be the G uh, chord here. Uh, so watch, I'm going down and then I'll go up. I reverse it. Lick. So basically the same thing. All I'm doing now is I got this bar, this bar chord going down. Um, okay. So we got that. That's the uh, the the fourth different part of the song. Um, now, basically, what we're going to do is we're going into where we're going to slide all the way up to the twelfth fret. Um, we slide into the twelfth fret. We're going to do the E, G, and the A up there. So we're going to be the twelfth fret, fifteenth fret, and the seventeenth fret. Um, and we're going to slide up, which is going to go something like. Let me run through it. It goes. <laughs> So we come out of that last part that we did and we're going into 12th fret, 15th fret, 17th fret. So all together fast is it be like... And if you notice what I'm doing that I'm obviously I'm, I'm wobbling this, this slide a little bit and giving it that little typical uh, slide feel. Okay. All gonna come with practice. You play along with the with the video of the song that I have and, and you'll get it down. Um, quite fun. So here's the second lick in the song which will be a solo lick. This one's also a little tricky because it's a little fast and I'll try and explain this as best as I can here. Um, we're on the high E string and we're going to slide to the B, to the A, to the G, to the F sharp, all on the high E string. So it comes out of this part here. High 
my E string. You guys can play along in there. So I'm not going to get too um, descriptive on on picking techniques because I've learned one thing. Everybody uses a pick differently. Some people, where they would be picking up and down, up and down, up and down, would actually pick down, 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 down. I've seen some of the best guitar players hold picks like this. Um, I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but Eddie Van Halen holds his guitar pick like this, which to me is really uncomfortable, but he's super fast and super accurate, So, but that works for him. So I'm not really going to get too descriptive on the picking techniques. I'll leave that up to you. You want to do that, you want to pick up and down, but it's it's all about the feel. Again, cigar box guitars, no rules. That was the cool thing about these. That's why I love them so much. No rules on the tunings, no rules on playing, no rules on techniques. Um, it's just a matter of having fun. With this song, I think that it's um, it's all about, you know, the rhythm. Okay, so we're out of the uh, the sixth part, which is a slide. And then there's two more parts left to this song before it actually repeats a couple of the other uh, little sections. Now this part here, the seventh part, we're going to bar up to the G and to the F sharp. And you're going to slide, which, uh, let, me, let me play this for you. So in rhythm it's... I'll do it slow for you, you can play along here. Now we're on to the last part here, which is the eighth, eighth different section here. This is, this is another lick. Um, this is one that I got quite a few emails about. Um, asking me uh, what I'm doing here because I couldn't quite see it in the video. Uh, so, I'll do it for you once. So, we're on the, we're on the E string. I'll, actually, I'll walk through this, I'll play it slowly, uh, as slow as I can, and then I'll kind of speed up the tempo a little bit, see if you can catch on to it. So. Open B string. So we're going E, E, F, F sharp to the B. Here's my plucking string. That's the first part of it, so it's... So, E, E, F sharp, B, to the E string again, the high E string. I'll do that slow a few times, see if you can catch on to that. to the rhythm and this is what I'm really kind of emphasizing on this is kind of got a, a little, nice little funky feel to it so this is the bat the, 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 the trickiest lick in the um, in the piece itself <laughs> keep playing it. I'll play it a few times and you can play along. So, And also remember on this one I'm also playing really close to the bridge here. It gives it that. Because if it was here 
This whole uh, mus musical piece, I was trying to, you know, get that train chugging along tin sound. So here's this last lick. Again, like any other song, any other musical piece, any other lick that you're learning, practice. So we got the first part here, which is the, the tin pluck at the beginning. <laughs> Runaway Train, eight different parts. Um, you can watch this back, learn the parts individually, and put it all together. Keep the rhythm going. Remember the little trick by playing closer to the, the bridge there to get it a little bit more tinny. Most cigar box guitars will do that. Um, most of mine do that. And, um, and have fun with it. Um, keep up tempo. Again, no rules. Anything goes. So play it your way. And um, post them up, guys. I'd love to see it. Um, you know, again, I'm very flattered by the response that I got from the Runaway Train video and the uh, private messages and emails that people have been sending me. So my first instructional video for a song that I wrote that you guys asked for. So I'll be back with another one. Cool. Thanks.